Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So one of my favourite sounds recently has got to be this. And as much as I hate the fact that obviously this is kind of basically wasted resin, uh, yeah, I love the sound of this because it means, well, I'm printing things out. And as you would have seen from those little clips just a minute ago, I printed out some display boxes. But these display boxes, well, they're more than just a display box as you can use them to carry your miniatures in as well as using these boxes as scatter terrain, which is just awesome. So I'm very fortunate that I get involved in a lot of Kickstarters. And when I say involved, I mean they basically send me stuff ahead of time so I can have a little play, print things out and show you guys exactly what you can get. So there's a link down below guys to the Kickstarter. And as you can see, it's these awesome customizable diorama display carry case and terrain. Uh, and as you can see, there's a whole variety of sizes as well as a customizable, which <laughs> we all love that word because it means we can make these as individual as we need and make them to suit well, whatever needs we've got. And yeah, it's a, so many different backgrounds and there's base sizes as well, guys. They cover all the bases. So that's a 25 millimeter, 28, 32 and even a 40 millimeter size bases, which is just awesome. As you can see, you can have small ones or the larger ones, which is great as well. And I say, these all come with the, uh, the, the bases, but obviously I like to use clear bases, so you will see later on in this video, obviously my miniatures, well, they have just that, the clear bases. So click on the link below, guys, because when this Kickstarter does start, there's an early bird special for the first 48 hours. So yeah, get involved straight away. So you would have seen from the video earlier, yeah, I've made my intercessors kind of look like stormtroopers, because, well... I absolutely love Star Wars, so I've kind of mixed the two together. So yeah, everything's printed out perfectly. And I say, there were so many varieties in well, the base sizes, the size of the boxes, all the bits and pieces you can glue onto the back. Uh, and yeah, I say, it really is just awesome that you can customize the thing so much. And I say, I, I love using the clear bases, so I'm not going to print out the bases because, well, my miniatures are already based. And obviously I use clear bases because I like to see what's underneath them when I'm using them in any kind of game. So I've got a kill team of obviously six miniatures. So I'm going for the two smaller little boxes. And I say the great thing with these is, as well as obviously sort of displaying them, carrying them, these are like container units. Which means, yeah, you can use these in your game as just general bits of scatter terrain, which is just great. As, yeah, I love things that have, well, more than one purpose, which these... Yeah, certainly do. So you print it out really well, go together like a treat. Uh, the interlocking system is just awesome as well. It keeps everything together. And talking about everything together, yeah, it's just a case of getting some glue and gluing in the bits and pieces that obviously I want to use in, well, my particular boxes. And the great thing with these is, obviously it's up to you. You can add as much or as little add-ons and greeblies as you like, really, which is pretty cool. So anyone who's eagle-eyed here um, or, and the creator of this Kickstarter will notice I'm kind of putting this in upside down. Um, right in the middle of it, there is a little screen with a keyboard. But um, yeah, don't worry, I do realise this very near the end and yeah, I sort of take it out. So as I said, yeah, I've got two of these boxes uh, printed out perfectly using the good old GK2 as my, well, my go-to printer. And it's just a case of painting them. And oh, no, again, you paint these however you want. Especially if you've got sort of terrain that's already part painted or fully painted in a certain way, then yeah, make these look the similar. Um, so these will just fit into your gameplay perfectly. So I'm keeping the paint job fairly simple. I'm going to obviously paint them with those Green Stuff World inks or dipping inks you just saw. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start off by just doing a sort of a dry brush with good old silver because the old dipping inks or even the speed paints from Army Painter. They go on really well over like a metallic sort of paint uh, and obviously give it a metallic colour, which is pretty cool, as these are meant to be sort of, well, metallic or metal um, containers of some sort. So I have taken a little break from Kill Teams over the festive period. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into it, hopefully next week with my mates who comes around, say, once a week, we have a game of Kill Teams. Uh, but I have just recently made a new board. Uh, I only said the fourth sort of Kill Team board I would have made. This one's a little bit different though, as this one folds up into, well, a kind of a case. So it's almost a travel kill team board. Um, yeah, which I can't wait to show you guys. It's all made and working. It's just a case of me getting down to putting all the, uh, well, all the footage together and voicing over. 
So yeah, I'm using this Stipping World stuff uh, because it's a nice big sort of pot, goes on really well. And one thing I will say about the green stuff, well, dip and inks, they do seem very, well as you can see here, very, <laughs> very wet, uh, very translucent, which in a lot of cases uh, is a bit pants to be honest. But when you're painting it over a sort of a metallic look, then yeah, it's ideal because it does go over very sort of wet and clear fruit. So yeah, you can see the nice shiny silver underneath, which is just pretty cool. The other thing to point out about the other uh, dipping inks, whether it's good or bad, it does take a lot longer for it to dry than speed paints. Um, when I say longer, obviously it doesn't take long to dry, but compared to speed paints, which dry well within seconds of, of putting it on, uh, yeah, this stuff it does sort of uh, it does stay wetter longer, which again is great if you're paint, uh, painting something large like this, um, because then you'll have no problems of it drying and then going over areas that are already dried with the the paint. Um, but yeah, say it does seem to go on well. It's just that case of using the right paint for the right job, and large metal containers seems to be the right job for the dipping inks, <laughs> which is cool. So obviously I've gone for a couple of different colours here just to make them well stand out from each other. Uh, but if you were sort of printing loads of these out, yeah, you might keep them the same sort of colour. I'm not sure. Again, that's the versatility and the thing I love about these kind of things that are so customizable. Uh, yeah, you can make yours so different from everyone else's, which is awesome. So let me get guys, click on the link down below, because um, it is coming out in a few days' time, I believe. So just a few last things to do to the containers, and well, one of them's obviously sticking on loads of transfers, as these certainly, uh, certainly enhance the look of everything, especially when some of these things, there's no way I'd be able to do like, well, this, the little checkered sort of flag bit, uh, but obviously there's loads of words, images, pictures, there's a ton of transfers out there. Some of these ones I have I have got with the, um, well, some of the kits that I've brought, and there's quite a few that I use are from the Mighty Brush. Again, guys, there's always links down below to sort of everything I kind of use in all my videos, so yeah, go check out all that stuff. So yeah, everything's kind of done now, but these do kind of look a little bit too neat and tidy, and well, I don't like too neat and tidy, I like things that look a little bit rusty. And this stuff is pretty much rust in a bottle, so good old dirty down rust, really easy to use, great results. Um, yeah, I do like things that are simple, but give, uh, give the <laughs> awesome results. And this stuff, obviously I apply it with an old brush for starters, um, just dabbing it all over the place, and then bringing in some water. Uh, this just helps obviously dilute it down, so you get sort of differences in the kind of rust. You're going to get some areas where it's highly concentrated, and that'll give you a lot of rust. And then other areas where there's lots of water, where just a little bit of rust. And obviously the other good thing with the water is it will drip. So you get some nice sort of, uh, well, rusty drip marks, which is really good. And yeah, definitely apply this to all the transfers. Again, just to make things look a bit more weathered, a bit more battered. Um, and yeah, this thing's <laughs> certainly seen better days. Sometimes, yeah, I may go a little bit overhanded, overhanded, uh, you know what I mean, over the top with rust, but I don't care, I love it. And then the last thing to do is just to sort of get this back to looking like it is, well, a metal container. So I've got a bit of silver on my brush, um, bobbed, wiped off quite a lot of it, so it is good old dry brushing. And then just going around, sort of catching or capturing, going over. Guys, I never know the proper terms here. Um, yeah, basically, I'll just go over the highlighted areas or eight raised areas, edges. Yeah, it's been a long day. Well, not really. I've just been sitting around messing about, making things, painting things, and having fun. So, yeah, not really a long day. I guess I'll just sit on my own. Sometimes my brain switches off. Either way, go over the edges, and yeah, it just gives it that little metallic look, which is perfect. So, guys, don't forget to click on the link to this awesome Kickstarter. As well, as I say, the versatility in these things, the fact that they are great little storage cases, uh, great display cases, and yeah, great function because you can use them in your actual games, which just makes them, well, a bit of a godsend, really. So yeah, click on the link down below, guys, you won't be disappointed, as I'll certainly be using more of these for, well, all my kill teams, as well as just in general, just a great way of storing and displaying cases. As you all know, yeah, I'm lacking in space where I am, so having things that I can certainly stack on top of each other, and I say, just a great way of displaying them, which is pretty cool as well. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget, there are loads more videos coming out, especially with a new Kill Team board that is going to be, well, it kind of basically folds in half into a case, which is pretty awesome. There is another video on the screen. Give that a click, see more of what I do. 
And don't forget, guys, I really would love to end this year. I know we've only just started this year, but ending this year on 100k subscribers. And I can only do that with your help by sharing, liking, leaving comments, and obviously subscribing to this channel. Okay, guys, you all take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.